Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to do a little intro before this video. Um, it's been about three weeks since my last video and <laughs> I just feel like so much has happened. Um, I did have knee surgery about 45 days ago or so. I'm getting better. It's finally getting easier to walk and move around. Um, I didn't have any replacement. I just had a torn meniscus and a micro fracture done on my kneecap. Um, but it's been good. Um, I'm glad that I kind of found out about the problems I have and maybe I'll do another video about it. It's pretty personal and just kind of long. So if you're not really into that, that's fine. Um, and then my dog bit me because <laughs> um, Zimba, he um, has a weird thing about being on the couch and I was just being kind of a silly pet owner. Um, and I just didn't realize that he was not feeling his best. And so he nipped me here on my nose. Um, that has been, I think a little over three weeks ago. Um, and I've been using this stuff called Aquaphor on it, which has been really, really nice. Um, so yeah, but we've been doing a lot of cooking at home, um, trying to stay safe. Um, my birthday was this week, so I did venture to a Mexican restaurant with my friends. We sat outside. Um, hopefully COVID will be over soon and people will kind of get their lives back. Um, I do just have a quick um, crock pot recipe to share with you guys today. Um, it's really good. Um, I made an enchilada sauce for it because I didn't have enchilada sauce. But if you have enchilada sauce, please use that. I'll click, I'll put the um, recipe below that I used and mimicked. Um, very creative recipe and it turned out really good. So I hope you enjoy it and hopefully I'll be getting back to making more normal videos. Um, I appreciate you guys watching and please um, click the subscribe button below um, and we'll see you soon and I hope you enjoy this dish. All right, so we're gonna start with the enchilada sauce um, since I didn't have any, um, so I just used some stuff in my pantry. Um, I used a can of tomato sauce, um, a jar of chipotle peppers and adobo. I just used about a tablespoon of that, some mild green chilies and a mild can of Rotel. Um, I went ahead and put the tomato sauce um, in first. You can use whatever order you want or you can just use enchilada sauce, whatever you prefer. Um, and then I used a can of mild Rotel. And then I did go ahead and put my chilies in there, um, fire roasted chilies. Um, I kind of just made a salsa, but I wanted it to have some good flavor, so that's why I added the chipotles. I just put about a tablespoon or two in there just to kind of give it a smoky flavor. Um, and then when I stirred it up and started kind of tasting it, I like to taste as I cook just so I can, if it's something I can taste so that I can make sure the end result's gonna be really good. Um, and I went ahead and added some uh, Mexican seasoning blends. This is one I just get at natural grocers. It doesn't have any salt in it. Um, so I added this, probably about a tablespoon or so. Um, and then I went ahead and added about 10 grinds of salt. I use pink salt for most of my stuff. Um, and I put a little dash of honey in there just to take the acidity out of the tomato. Um, I do like to put, when I do meats in my crock pot, um, a layer of onions. Um, I wish I would have chopped those onions finer, but I didn't. I actually ended up taking those out before I assembled the casserole at the end, just because I felt like they were way too chunky and they didn't break down. Um, so my advice is to do that just because it gives a really nice flavor to your meat when you're cooking it. But also just, you know, whatever you're making, make them as thin. If you don't want to use onions, you could use peppers, um, any kind of aromatic can go down there. You could put celery, just give, lifts the meat up off the bottom of the crock pot and gets all the juices kind of going around the meat. Um, and then I added a can of black beans just around the chicken. Um, I just really like beans and we had them in our pantry. Again, I'm just cleaning out my pantry of stuff. Um, that's what is the great thing about crock pots. And then I went ahead and added my sauce. Um, and then don't stir it, just pour the sauce over it. Um, and then I went ahead and cooked this for about six hours on low. I put three hours originally, but we went and ran some errands. And when we came back in about six hours, it was perfect. Um, my crock pot is, gets very hot, so that was perfect for its setting. I just put it low three hours and then it, it stays pretty warm. So it cooked for another three hours or so. Um, but if yours gets really low, you might wanna just set it to low for six hours. 
So this is what it looked like after it had cooked for about six hours. I'm just going to check the chicken really quick to make sure that it is cooked and shreddable. So I just took a piece out and put it in a bowl um, just to make sure. I always like to check if the chicken will shred that that in a crock pot recipe. If you're going to move on, this is a good stage or a good test to do just to make sure you don't need to put the lid on. And again, I picked those um, chunks of onion out of there too because I knew that I wanted it to be a little bit smoother. Um, so this is just me doing that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and shred the chicken. Um, I would have just eaten this chicken. It was so good. Um, but if you ever just want a good thing to cook some chicken in, definitely try out the recipe for the sauce. I'm going to take a little can of diced um, or sliced olives, some pickled jalapeno peppers. This is optional. This is just what we like on our enchiladas. I did a couple of um, stirring of sour cream, and then you cut up the corn tortillas to mix in, which makes it the enchilada casserole. Um, really good and then of course you're gonna need some sh shredded cheese and this is what I had on hand I mixed in the sour cream those onions are about to get picked out which they did and then we'll kind of move on to the tortillas this is 12 corn tortillas I'm gonna stir them in there and then you just stir it in oh yeah this looks so good and then we're also gonna stir some cheese in there too that's what it looks like when the tortillas are stirred in then we're just gonna put some cheese in there Karen and Zimba really want some too. I'm gonna stir, let's say, probably about a cup of cheese in, and then I'm gonna top the rest with cheese. Yum. We got cheese, some olives on here. Here is the final. I'm gonna put the lid on and cook it on low for about 60 more minutes. Okay, so it's been cooking now hmm, about 65 minutes or so. That's what it looks like. Oh yeah, it smells so good. It smells like Frito pie. Can't wait to dig in. and thick that is just like a casserole and this is what the final product looked like I just scooped a bunch in a bowl with sour cream and lettuce onions tomatoes some hot sauce um, this was really good it made dinner for several nights um, we ate this for like probably five nights <laughs> it was really good um, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe uh, again I'll put the link below to the original recipe um, if you haven't done so please click on the subscribe button below um, I will see you in the next video hopefully it won't be so long this time bye